This is a Mercy Girl production. Mac T here, and as you're going to see in this video, I have checked my voltage regulator with the Solar. Okay, I've checked it with this and it initially gave me the determination through the red flashing light that there's something wrong with my voltage regulator so I checked it good product to get it gives you the initial testing to tell you there's something wrong with not only your Ford Edge alternator but especially the regulator it detected it I went to Rock Island Arsenal and you'll see in this video we take a higher price machine and it has the same confirmation although it had more bells and whistles on it it did confirm everything the solar said that the voltage regulator was failing and then remember the solar BA7 can also tell you if the alternator is failing too along with checking the cold cranking amps and your battery voltage so it is a good price for 70 bucks and uh, does do a very good job for the at-home mechanic and to diagnose charging system issues and like I said I went to the Rock Island Army Arsenal to the Auto Skills Center and had that in this video double check to make sure that I was getting the right reading now what I do want you all to remember is this is not throwing that check engine light okay it is not showing me any problems yet the symptoms are there of the voltage regulator failing uh, this may be a problem throughout a lot of Ford edges because a lot of people are having problems with their batteries discharging and the dealers can't figure it out and I figured it out with a $70 solar uh, battery tester okay so maybe if we can get this uh, fixed, I'll show you what the repair is and replacing the alternator and putting a good voltage regulator uh, replacement in there. And remember, these voltage regulators are internal. I cannot buy a voltage regulator separately. You have to buy the entire alternator. And I'm getting quotes of anywhere from over $350 down to the no-name brand cheap ones for like $170. So I'm primarily leaning towards a Motocraft right now and I'm going to be ordering that here because I have confirmation that it has failed. But I just want you to watch this video and see because if you're having these battery discharge issues and you're having issues get that voltage regulator checked on your alternator and I bet you that may be one of your problems that you're having so enjoy this video and see what we did to re-diagnose the issue to confirm that the solar BA7 did tell me what the problem is and that uh, now I have to do some work have a great day and by all means every day is a great day as you can see no check engine lights nothing uh, system as far as the system goes and the information, there's no warnings on the system with this voltage regulator not delivering enough power, nor is it uh, working properly, and it actually spikes. But yet, no warnings, nothing in the system, and as you can see, everything is okay. So, to this end, with this type of failure on the voltage regulator the Ford Edge will not register a check engine light and indicate that there is an issue with the alternator the only way you're gonna find out is through the symptoms and remember those symptoms are batteries losing voltage cold cranking amps are decreasing and then when you do a diagnostic test on it you will find that you will discover the voltage spikes and of course the lows and especially this voltage regulator is putting out enough of a charge at higher RPM to keep the battery charged but low and frequent stops and low running RPM will result in a dying battery bit by bit over time and it will usually be dead within days if you do park it because you end up only with a voltage reading on the battery of about 12.3 12.4 volts what was your cold cranking amp 540 
Fox, Monster.com, and Q106.5. Welcome to the future of grocery shopping. There's a little bit more, uh... The largest online marketplace at Direct Eat. That's Direct B-A-T-S. You can fill your pantry with the best selection. 12.35 with 386 cold crank amps. So my, my meter that I use, the solar, is uh, pretty accurate then, because I was getting the same thing. It's your state of health worse. is about 50% and your state of charge is 60. Yeah. Now, what do we do to test the... Uh, we have to get in and start the car. Want me to put everything under load that's not uh, it, it, pulsating? It'll last for it. It'll last for it? Yeah, all together. Give her a start. Well, Key on. Key on. Okay, now you can start it. Alternator is good. Fourteen and a half. Yeah, it's not going up. Let me put it under load. They said yeah. to rev it up and put it up under load. Okay, now you gotta step on the gas. Let me put it under load too? Not yet. Not yet? Probably not. That's far enough. Just hold it steady. Right there. Okay. Good. Idle. Alright, now you can turn your loads on. Headlights. Fan blow. Got them on. Okay, rev the engine again. And hold it. What's that saying? Normal charging voltage. Excess ripple detected on your diodes at your voltage regulator. Voltage regulator is bad then. Yep. All right. Well. Yep, it's charging. So that when you had the loads on, yeah, um, it wouldn't detect the rev going up. You had it. You saw how faster it was going. Yeah. The second time than it was yeah. the first. Yeah. It wouldn't even go up to the test line. Oh wow. So it's shunting voltage is what it's doing. So it's not charging when the battery. When it's not charging. Yeah. yeah. So you got a load on there. It's drawing it down enough that it's charging, but it's not producing enough electricity to keep everything else going at the same time. So okay. So this thing really dial. did diagnose the issue then. Yep. You know, and, tell, and give me the right right direction. I just yep. want a verification. Now I know I can trust this solar a lot better. Yeah, <laughs> it's you know. good to have a tool you know about. I mean, it's only 70 bucks. And it really did tell me what I was needing to know. So, yeah. uh, that's, that's normal good. Normal charging voltage is 442. I'll have to wait until it comes around again. Well, it says there's a problem. Normal charging voltage. Uh huh. Okay, load on 4.5. Two and then 4.38 it loads off, so it's not going high enough. Not it's not not being able to produce enough with loads on. Okay. Keep everything. So it's detecting the spikes and the lows on there and everything. Yeah. And then, yeah. Excess ripple. So this definitely uh, did its job. So now I got verification. Well, now you can uh, you know give them a positive positive on their website yeah <laughs> yeah it, it's good but you know what getting at this you know where it's at probably on the bottom <laughs> down here yeah <laughs> the darn thing is down there buried and everything right, that I'm so telling 
probably get that. So you know I'm coming back, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I just got to buy a, what do you think, a motorcraft to do the job? Motorcraft's good. Eight yeah. Kilo, yeah. I was thinking go motorcraft, because Ford wants $150 more than a motorcraft. That makes sense. Yeah. But it's right down in here. So I'm assuming I got to pull the fan out. From what I heard, I got to pull this fan out. I'm probably going to have to disconnect and move a couple hoses if I can. And I'm going to have to take the wheel well out. Because in order to get the... the wheel well There's a fair amount, but I just don't know how much I'm going to have to get at uh -huh. to get down in there. But everything I heard, I got to pull the fan out. I'm going to take this out for sure. I don't know about that so much. But yeah. So this is going to be a fairly long job. Yep. Just trying to Not get like all this the old out. Days. Sit on the fender and pull the alternator off. I know my mom's Chevy truck. The alternator's sitting right on top. You just yep. take it out. Two bolts. <laughs> two bolts and two nuts on the wires, and you're done. Well, I guess I better order another one. So this has been apparently doing this for a while. So whatever's wrong with it is semi-permanent. It, it charges just enough. Thankfully, my my driving is all highway. Right. I think that's helping because I'm keeping the RPM up higher, yeah. so I am getting a charge. But if I drive around town, all bets are off. Battery light comes on. No, no, not yet. Not yet. Uh, but what happens is if I leave this thing set, cold weather. Drains down. It drains down. Because that battery, the cold cranking amp is shot, so that means that the battery has been abused. Well, I'm surprised this one's only 540. I'm going to replace it with a 650. Yeah, I will. My wife's car has a 650 in it. Yeah. But hers has a remote start. And ones without remote start, they put the 540s in it. I would have it in it. Uh, the only reason they put the 650 in is, is because you have a remote start. For some reason, they do that. Yeah. And I did this same test with this device that I have, and nothing showed up as far as anything wrong. That's why I had a concern that this alternator was bad. Well, so my, my test here said your battery, your battery health is only 50. Yeah, and that's probably because of this voltage regulator, because it's been dying. So right. I'm sure that's killing the battery it's too. The battery to sulfate. Yeah. So, it's so using less of a charge or holding less of a charge. So. I'm going to have to buy a new battery when I put the alternator in. And basically that's going to happen because the voltage regulator failing is causing the battery to prematurely fail. It'll be a good boat motor battery. Boat motor battery? <laughs> I'm thinking... Well, I'm trolling motor battery is charging that. You, you put a, have you put in a fair number of batteries? Because I've been thinking about going to an AGM battery. Uh, that you talk to Bob. He's the battery man on that. He, he likes them. He likes them. I'll the talk to him. And, and, and know, deeper instant, cranking. Deep, yeah. Because I'm thinking that might be a better choice for cold weather and everything else. Yeah, it, well, it might be. Yeah. You know. Well, I could probably take this one back. Yeah. And it's only a year old. Yeah. And get a new one. But uh, it wouldn't be the one I'd really want in it because I'd right. want to get a they 650. Yeah. So. Anyway, thank you very much for that. Steve, it's gonna be. I know the cops get, will know where you're can at. We get, can we get Steve? <laughs> Steve, <laughs> I got you question on batteries though. Okay. Uh, right now I got a 540 right. battery in here. Right. I'm strongly considering going to an AGM. Okay. What do you think? That wouldn't be bad. I mean, it sets out in the cold. Yeah. Yeah. Gives it more cranking power. Okay. You know, don't go to like an optum or, or nothing. No, I'm just gonna get a regular square in Okay, here yeah. And put yeah. it in there. Okay. Because, uh, yeah. you know, I drive a lot, as you right. know. Right, And I'm thinking that might be a better choice for me, because I'm on the road and I'm looking for longevity. Right. I understand. So, I just wondered what your opinion on them was. I, I think they're good batteries. I don't like the Optima for cold weather because they don't hold up. Okay, so, but if I go with the square AGM, yeah, the square one, then and I'm doing good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, folks, right behind here, 
is the alternator. You can see the plug right there. Right there is a the plug in the dead center. Right down here is the plug. This is the alternator all through here. Uh, gonna be a little bit of a Dickens to get to uh, just because of what it is. As you can see, getting to this alternator is going to be rather exciting. But that is where it is, right down there. And uh, as you can see, I'm going to have to remove this fan covering right here and then of course disconnect and move this hose for the upper radiator that's gonna have to be moved and uh, taken off and then removing all of this so I can pull the fan out just to give me enough wiggle room to get this radiator get this uh, radiator uh, fan out and then I think I drop it through the bottom not entirely sure but I think that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it through the bottom through the wheel well and I will have to remove the wheel and then access back up through this wheel well cover as you can see I will have to take this wheel well cover off that's back in here and in order to get to it and as you can see it's gonna be a tight fit a uh, little better view once I get the tire off but I'm gonna have to remove this wheel well cover in order to access everything that I want to access to get to that alternator so gonna be a fairly lengthy job but uh, we will get to it and I will order this uh, alternator but I now have confirmation through another even higher price testing piece of equipment and as I can say the Solar is a very good uh, choice if you want to get an inexpensive battery tester that will tell you what your initial problems are and like I said it did point out that the voltage regulator was faulty based on the reading so this is it folks this is Mag T and if you're having a good day every day is a good day so have a great day watching and remember to like my videos and subscribe to Mac T.